welcome back to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm going to show you how to make this creamy garlic butter chicken and potatoes that is so easy, delicious and comforting. You only need a few ingredients that you probably already have sitting in your pantry to make this recipe. So let's get started. We're starting with some chicken thighs and we're going to season them with salt, pepper, garlic and onion powder, rosemary, thyme and paprika. Go ahead and mix those together and season your chicken very generously with your spices. Rub the spices on the chicken and we're going to turn them over and do the same thing on the other side. We want to make sure every single part of the chicken is seasoned. Next, cover the chicken with serene wrap and let them marinate in the fridge for at least one hour to absorb all of those amazing flavors. So while the chicken is marinating, we're going to cut up some potatoes. I am using red and yellow potatoes. You can use whatever you love. I am going to cut each one into eight equal pieces. Now transfer your potatoes into a baking pan and we're going to drizzle with olive oil and season with salt and pepper. Go ahead and toss everything together and we're going to partially bake the potatoes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. And the reason is so we don't end up with raw potatoes when we add the chicken because potatoes take a longer time to bake if that makes sense. So by this time, your chicken should be done marinating. We're going to sear them. So in a hot skillet, go ahead and drizzle some olive oil. Grab your chicken and sear them skin side down on medium heat, three minutes on each side, okay? Searing the meat gives them extra flavor and such a beautiful color like that. That looks so good. Once searing is done and looking beautiful, remove the chicken from the pan and in the same pan, we're going to saute some spinach. Season the spinach with salt and pepper. Cook until they wilt down like that. Then remove from the pan and set aside for later. Next, we're going to make the creamy sauce. So melt some butter in the same pan. Once that is melted, add some minced garlic and cook for about a minute until the garlic gets fragrant. Be careful not to burn your garlic, okay? We're also adding some flour which is going to thicken the sauce. Allow the flour to cook for about a minute just to kick out that flour taste. Then we're going to add some chicken broth. We're going to let the sauce cook and thicken just like that. That looks good. And we're adding whole milk and heavy cream to make the sauce nice and creamy. Next, we're adding some Parmesan cheese and chicken bouillon cube together with some fresh parsley and fresh basil to boost the flavor. Mix everything together and cook this for about a minute to let all those beautiful flavors come together. So by this time, the potatoes should be partially baked and out of the oven. We're going to place the chicken thighs on top of the potatoes. Go ahead and add your sautéed spinach. Just randomly place them in between and around the chicken. Next, I'm going to pour the sauce on the chicken and this is going into a 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 35 to 40 minutes until the chicken reaches an internal temperature of 165 and the potatoes are fully cooked through, okay? And here it is out of the oven. This is one big pan of hot bubbly chicken and potatoes. It smells so good, you guys. This recipe is such a winner. It is so delicious and comforting. If you want the ingredients and measurements, check the description box. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you make this recipe, please let me know how it comes out and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'll see you soon. Bye.